Welcome to the AL.com Film Room. I'm Matt Scalisi here with John Parker Wilson, our Alabama football analyst. We're here to get you ready for the big game this weekend between Alabama and LSU down in Baton Rouge. John Parker, we're going to be focusing on LSU this week and kind of seeing what they're going to be bringing to the table in this game. They've, they've kind of been an up-and-down team this year. We've seen them look really rough at times, and then obviously they beat Ole Miss uh, down there in Baton Rouge recently. So I guess part of the, the question you have to be asking going into this game, what LSU team is Alabama going to get when they go in there Saturday? Yeah, they definitely started off the season slower and have, have progressed that it's going on. I think the, the big win against Ole Miss kind of had them trending in the right direction, and going down there is always a tough, tough task. So I think that's going to be one of the biggest things is handling the environment on the road. You know, Alabama last game we showed that we could do it against Tennessee. Now we just have to continue that going. Um, as we're trending upwards, so is LSU. So it should be a good contest down there. All right, so one of the key issues for this LSU offense this season really has been uh, trying to avoid – turnovers on offense. Anthony Jennings, their quarterback, can be a talented guy sometimes. He's turned the ball over a lot for them, though. Yeah, definitely. I think we're going to see coming out from this LSU team the, the classic Alabama-LSU matchup of run the ball first and play defense. You know, we see right here uh, Jennings sometimes gets in, in trouble throwing the ball, and I, I think on this clip especially, it's just kind of a, a basic miscommunication between the quarterback and the receiver. He just he overthrows the ball. Don't know if, if he's trying to throw the stop route, the, the, the back shoulder or what. But it's just kind of the not being on the same page. And this late in the season, you expect the quarterback and the receiver to be on the same page in the passing game. All right, so here we see Jennings once again throwing another pick in a, in a kind of crucial part of the game. LSU's down 3-7. to seven, And I, I think that, that it's going to be upon the Alabama secondary to take advantage of this stuff. We, we, we've seen uh, when we get turnovers that we can, we can put points on the board. So in close games, this is going to be when, when LSU has this, the opportunity to throw the ball, we're going to have to make plays. I think we're, they're going to run the ball a majority of the time uh, the LSU offense is. So when the ball is up in the air, it's up to Landon Collins and those guys in the secondary to make plays and get turnovers. So we mentioned they've, they've had some you know, more success running the ball than passing the ball, but we're, we're going to see right here, even when they're able to get the running backs involved in the passing game, seems to help. Definitely. We see all the receivers running a, a vertical routes and the, the running back getting matched up one-on-one -on -one with, with the linebacker, and he's able to get behind him and get a huge chunk of play. This is using those running backs, using what is the strength of their team, and just finding a different way to get them the ball. Like we've seen Lynn Kiffin get Amari Cooper the ball a lot of different ways. This is their offense coordinator doing the same things with the running back, just finding different ways to get the playmakers the ball. And why is it a difficult matchup if you're a defense for, for taking on a running back in a passing situation like this? Yeah, well, well, it's putting those linebackers one on one in space for the running backs. You know, those guys are used to tackling up in the box, but when you get them out, you know, some guys are better than others. I think our, our linebackers have shown this year with Trey and Reggie and these guys have shown that they can cover the pass game, but it'll just, it's going to be different ways of getting those running backs the ball, I think, throughout the game is what, what's going to be on the forefront of the LSU uh, offense. So we know the, the bread and butter of this LSU offense, obviously, is their running game. They've got a lot of talented running backs. Leonard Fournette, we already saw on here, the, the true freshman who can do a lot of different things. So when you look at this Alabama team, and, and particularly their defense, how do they match up with a team that can be physical and run the ball the way this LSU team does? I, I think we really match up well with the big guys up front and the linebacker core. It'll be similar to what we saw against Arkansas, where they're going to run the ball first, they're going to run it early and often. I think we're going to see the same thing from the LSU team. We see Terrence McGee here you know, run this kind of classic LSU play that we see all the time, the quick pitch, get downhill um, with a pulling guards and just trying to, to seal the outside. He's making moves on the secondary, does a good job, and I think it's just going to be the matchup between the offensive and defensive linemen um, who's going to win this game. So I want to talk about what it's like to play in Death Valley in, in Baton Rouge. This is a thing that you've experienced. A lot of people talk about the atmosphere there, how unique it is, how loud and, and hostile an environment it is. Um, you know, this is, this is a game from 2008 where you guys went down there and, and won in their building for the first time in, in a pretty good while, I think, at the time. Um, so kind of, kind of a memorable start to this game, especially for you. I, I want you to take me through this play and tell me what's going on here. Yeah, it's definitely a fun environment. I think anybody you talk to around the SEC, when they go on road trips, SEC or LSU is the one that always comes back. It's a fun place to play because the fans are loud and crazy. LSU's always got a good team. And it, with Alabama team, it usually comes down to, to a lot on the line. So we're playing LSU right now. There's a lot on the line for us. You know, LSU's still fighting. But from our standpoint in the Alabama season, 
um, you know, this is kind of a must-win game. So it's fun. It was the same for us right here. The SEC West was on, on the line. And this is kind of a fun play to, to pull up, going right behind Antoine Caldwell in the quarterback sneak. First play in the game. Um, and for some reason, after LSU student section, I got my cell phone number. I thought it would be a, uh, a good idea <laughs> to tell them to call me since they already had my cell phone number. We got a 15-yard penalty. It wasn't the smartest idea, but it was – uh, so much fun to go down there on the road and get a win to end up winning the SEC West. So how was that received on the sidelines when you, when you went for that? As you can imagine, it wasn't too well. Luckily, we won the game, so we got out of there, and, and it, uh, all is well that ends well. That's it for today on the AL.com Film Room. Join us later in the week when we're going to be taking a look at LSU's defense.